All right. So, um, very good evening, uh, friends. Very good evening, uh, our friends across the world uh, who are connected with 360 Digit MG. Uh, today we have uh, Shubha, Shubha Karnam. Uh, she has been associated with 360 as a student and briefly as an, um, in other capacity also. Uh, thank you so much, Shubha, for uh, joining us uh, today and uh, consenting to give us some insights with reference to your success journey. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So Shubha, uh, how is it? How do you feel, uh, you know, interacting with the, once again with 360 Digital? How, what is going on in your mind right now? Getting to touch with, I mean, you never really left 360 Digit MG, uh, <laughs> but uh, in this kind of an official setup, what is going on in your mind? Just quickly for a minute to make yourself yeah, first of all, I'm feeling very happy to again meet you because you are my first, uh, uh, you know, tutor and a guru uh, whom uh, I joined when I joined the uh, course at 360. So you were my uh, teacher, actually. So you were the tutor. <clears throat> so I'm feeling very happy that I'm connecting with you again. And uh, yeah, so 360 was an excellent journey for me because that is what uh, gave me a transition from... Uh, uh, older technology which I was working on into uh, machine learning and data science. So I'm uh, very grateful for that uh, because because of 360, I got this opportunity. Thank and you. I have met a lot of uh, uh, experienced people like you so that, uh, you know, so I, I, got, uh, I, I got experience uh, from you guys also like uh, related to the management skills and uh, related to technical also. Yeah, so that's what I'm basically I'm grateful for everything, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Been. So my, my first question that was just an intro. Yeah. My first question is, uh, uh, how would you, uh, you know, try to describe your learning journey uh, mm -hmm. from the time just before you joined 360 from the, the mind process when you made up your mind and to where you have reached? Would um, uh, you just kind of describe the journey that you have traversed? Yeah. So uh, before I joined 360, I was uh, I was working into uh, I was into IT, but I was working on a different technology, which was like a, I was not very interested into. I wanted to make a switch. So I did some research. I googled and I got information about uh, 360 Digit MG, and uh, I, I saw that uh, they provide uh, different uh, trainings on different technologies, basically. So. I thought, why not give it a try? Because uh, machine learning and data science was in boom. And uh, I was into Python also. So I knew a little bit of Python. And uh, yeah, so that's how uh, I, I thought of making a transition from uh, uh, different technology to uh, uh, machine learning and data science. <clears throat> After I joined 360, uh, yeah, the course content was excellent uh, from uh, basics to Till the deployment of the model and everything it was very good assignments were very informative uh, even interview sessions mock interviews uh, and even the you know uh, projects were very good whatever i have done i i put it in the resume and i was able to even explain to interviewers regarding that and they were all well, they were also very impressed because we had done a project for a uh, telangana government so i was very happy with that yeah so <clears throat> So that is what uh, uh, the journey was. And now I'm into HCL with all this uh, knowledge and I'm also trying to learn more things from HCL also. So yeah, so that's how the journey is. And I'm very happy that I have chosen machine learning and data science. Thank because you. whatever you are interested in, that is what makes you happy if you, if great, you work. Great, great. So uh, the objective of this uh, interaction, which we're having on a weekly basis with our past participants is primarily to motivate, uh, you know, new learners in the field and uh, also guide them. See, as far as training is concerned, we will do our best if the students are willing to learn. But uh, beyond that, uh, it is something that they need to do. So basically to motivate them. Uh, specific to the life projects, because oftentimes when students are doing the training program, uh, they kind of tend to lose focus. So how would you motivate them regarding the life projects, its importance uh, to being able to, you know, crack the interview like you were just mentioning. 
can you just uh, in the perspective of trying to uh, you know motivate the students can you please elaborate on that yeah so <clears throat> whenever we start with the project so if we're doing the course even uh, i felt few concepts were very difficult to understand few concepts were very easy few were you know it went above the head also so uh, i mean you don't have to uh, you know uh, discourage on that whatever uh, concepts you don't understand it's okay we, there are few things which we don't understand also but when when it comes to a project so <clears throat> when we start uh, working with the project so first thing we have to focus is on the data how we are going to uh use the data how we are going to pre process it because that is a basic thing if you do a little small th small mistake in data pre processing everything will go for a toss so first thing whenever we are starting with the project first understand what business problem is and then focus on the data and then whatever models i mean we there are multiple models available in the market so whatever you apply it is uh, i mean you will get some results at least and once you have the model ready it is uh, not a very easy thing to deploy spe especially a deep learning model or a machine learning model which is huge into the production or into the environment so what i would uh, request uh, all uh, my peers or all my juniors is focus on the uh, data part and the deployment part because that is what interviewers are very interested into because Uh, whatever model building or whatever we get it is already readily available in the uh, you know uh, internet uh, you you can read blogs about it so it's it's a not very you know um, challenging thing so challenging thing is where uh, how you deploy how you maintain a model so that is how uh, the the market is looking into so try to focus on that rather than just you know searching for the models and then trying it so that doesn't make sense because everything is readily available so focus on the data and the deployment part is what my take on this thank you thank you kind of uh, makes sense so my my last question was uh, pretty similar i mean you've kind of answered that question but nevertheless i'll ask it so amongst the various uh, you know aspects that students need to take care in their learning journey what is that one singular aspect that uh, you know it should be the priority number one i'm not saying that everything else is less but what is that should be priority number one in your opinion with your experience the number one priority for a student as a learner for trying to crack the data science jobs the number one priority is whatever the models you have worked into uh, whatever the projects you have done be very very perfect on that and whatever you write in the resume be very perfect on those terms because if you put something else and then you, uh, you know you interviewer might just catch hold of that and you might not know that so whatever you your 100% know uh, like if you have put python be at least 80% you should know about python so yeah that is the first thing when you are cracking an interview and then they'll ask you regarding the data how how did you pre process it how huge was the data and how what are the challenges you faced while doing the you know uh, project so that is the next question they'll ask and the third question would be how did you deploy the model how did you how are you maintaining the model so these are the three questions they usually ask for and we should be very thorough on those questions at least all right thank you so i'll just sum it up uh, for our audience here so be very very straightforward in your resume and be absolutely uh, certain of whatever you mentioned be prepared to be grilled uh, into great depths so mention only those things which you are absolutely certain about uh, do not try to fake i mean that's that's a given and interviews are uh, very well aware of how to catch uh, things when they are incorrect and of course uh, uh, with reference to the models etc Uh, do not try to you know again beat around the bush be very straightforward and specific and acquire adequate knowledge of deployment which you can only do if you contribute in a big way in the projects now project there'll be bunch of people so don't be a silent spectator try to take the lead part and if you do take the lead part you will learn about deployment etc and and that is ultimately going to help you with your uh, cracking up the job thank you thank you so much shubha Uh, nice to connect with you I, it's been a long time since we met face to face we must yes all right catch up for yeah. coffee or something and it was nice yeah, sure. thank you so much and uh, wish you the very best and i'm glad, i'm really felt uh, happy that you still uh, you know uh, remember uh, our old times when we were uh, teacher and uh, student and uh, of course <laughs> then we became colleagues also so nice thank you so much 
Thank you, Nitin. And congratulations again uh, for the achievement, whatever 360 has got. I see a lot of uh, people joining 360. And uh, before they join, they also ask me regarding how is the course and everything. So yeah, so I can see there is a lot of, uh, you know, improvement that's happening at 360. And I'm very happy for that. Thank you. Thank you. You're always a part of 360. Thank yes, you so yes. much. Yeah. Thank you.